Hi, I'm Angie, and I'm part of Airtable's marketing team. And one of my weekly tasks is publishing a newsletter. I am so excited to show you the base that I've created in order to automate a lot of these tasks and really make it a light lift for me. So let's jump right in. If we look right here at our calendar, you'll see I have organized everything by volume, issue date, a schedule date that we go to production, and each newsletter is assigned a marketing lead. That lead is responsible for the weekly blurb where they give their thoughts of the week, anything interesting that they've read about, seen, any podcasts they've heard, just generally anything uplifting and motivating that they wanna share with the team. Now, when I want to create the newsletter, what I go and do is I click right on this button here, which says ready to create task. And this sets off a whole host of automations and tasks, which I'm excited to share with you here on the next page. Now, if we move on over to tasks, you'll see that each issue has got all the tasks assigned to it here on the left-hand side. Now, if we move along through our columns, these are the things that are important to me and us as a team. You'll see the task has been named. You'll see a person that it's been assigned to we'll be able to track the status, the date that is scheduled for production, the actual progress. We move along, we'll see the blurb gets uploaded here. And we even have Slack IDs as unique identifiers linked to each person responsible for a task. And why is this important? Let's move on to our automations. Now this, I am so happy to share with you because we have it linked to Slack if we show Monday Slack, what happens is when a record enters a view, and by that I mean we've moved from the calendar and moved into the task view. As this gets created, it triggers an action. Airtable speaks to Slack and tells Slack to send a message, sends a message to a Slack account. Okay, and then this is the message that I've chosen. It's sending a message to a person that's responsible, letting them know what they are responsible for and where exactly they can upload their blurb. And here's the fun part. I get to replicate myself. But it comes from Angie 2.0. You can name your bot anything you like, but marketing likes having two of me. So there you have it. Now, if you don't complete the task or they don't complete the task on Monday, they will get a follow up on Wednesday. It's important to note that if they have completed the task and marked it off as completed, they won't be getting a reminder. But for those that are not, not up to date, they unfortunately will. And they will get yet another one by Friday if they still haven't had a chance to upload. By the end of the day, if I haven't received all of the blurbs that I need, I'm able to follow up myself directly because I'll know exactly who hasn't been able to complete. And that's my way of keeping track. Now, that's why I love it. I hope you've enjoyed looking through my base and it's inspired you to go to our Airtable universe, have a look around and maybe find something else that you'd like to try. And I hope you enjoyed your time with me.